So Bill Baruch has made some trades in this space. Let's bring him in um, because he has bought more of one of the stocks on that downgrade list that I had, Goldman Sachs. So you bought more Goldman. Stocks up 13 and a half percent since the election alone. Steph just laid out the bull case for most, if not all, of these stocks. Why'd you buy more of it now? Now, this was a new ad at the end of October before the election. And the idea was, you know, if it comes down a little bit into 450 or so, we want to be buying more of it. We didn't get that opportunity. I think we got some confirmation that this was really continuing to break out. We wanted to increase that exposure. We like the trading activity, capital markets activity. As Steph mentioned, M&A over the next year should really, really be a good tailwind for a name like this. So um, I, I think it keeps on going. You bought more intercontinental exchange, too, uh, the ICE. Tell me why, because exchanges yeah. have been hot. Yeah, that, that's a new position, actually. And ultimately, you know, this is a very diversified business within financials. Um, the services, you look at real estate and market activity is 20 percent. The mor uh, mortgage technology is 22 percent of their revenue. So I think that could be a really good tailwind. Capital markets, you know, they own the New York Stock Exchange where the show is. Um, I, we continue to think that's, that's right. going to pick up, but commodity and trading and hedging services, especially in energy and the environment that we're about to see going forward, I think is going to continue to be a tailwind to the revenues. Why did you sell Chubb, the insurer? Yeah, this is a little rotation within the financial space. We kind of feel that it could be a capital impairment at the moment. We're not too excited about the insurance space in general over the next couple of quarters. We really like this company a lot, and we see it getting back, getting back into it maybe sometime next year. I mean, good enough for Berkshire, not good enough for Baruch. <laughs> yes, hey, man, you do your thing. That's okay. It's all good. It's good to see you. Thanks for documenting these Thank trades you. for us. Bill Baruch. Um, I'd like to get a, a take from, from Josh on the ICE buy because I, you own some exchanges, don't you? At least one, I thought, NASDAQ, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, look, this is one of the best businesses on earth if you are among the larger exchanges. And all of the publicly exchange companies own many exchanges. So the, the one I'm personally invested in is NASDAQ NDAQ. They own exchanges all over the world. I also like the players in Chicago that focus more on futures and options. Um, and just generally speaking, I think the exchange business over the next year has a lot of the stars aligned. Number one, when you read stats like you started the show off with, the amount of people buying, the amount of people pouring money into markets once again, super positive. Look at yep. the share prices of Coinbase, of Robinhood, all the brokerage players in every asset class. All of that feeds directly into the success of the exchange businesses. Top that off with a return to capital markets business, an IPO cycle, et cetera. These companies are set up to make enormous amounts of money on both volumes and listings. Those are the two main businesses of these companies, and I think all of them uh, are going to benefit in 25.